after one year, we finally found the proper course setup so that we're able to go from my ideas into just put it into reality. Sometimes it's really hard and boring if you're just going over a PowerPoint. Like nobody wants to watch an hour long PowerPoint and people like things that are moving and you know, I'm a very creative and visual person. So we finally figured out the perfect setup and the key to it all is this baby. This is called the Surface Studio. It's a very expensive computer, but I think that this is kind of the future of computing and I'm a tech geek, so, and we also have some peripherals, so one of the biggest issues is always getting proper lighting and camera for the course, so we kind of have ghetto uh, rigged this thing together, jerry rigged, whatever you want to call it, um, so let's get a close up on that, we've got some uh, tuna cans here, and some clamps from Home Depot, and essentially what we've got going on here is a ring, you want to get a ring light so that you have proper lighting, because then it lights up your whole face, and makes your eyes look beautiful. Um, then we have the camera up here. So you got the DSLR. If we go in the back here, we have a, a ring of things, but essentially there's this thing called the cam link. And this allows you to, in real time, connect your DSLR to your computer. And that's really going to be the secret. And it's just this little HDMI thing there. Um, not really too difficult there. So this allows me to have nice 4K in real time with good lighting and then it's adjustable and you can do whatever you want. So maybe I'll make this into a, a scalable product that uh, in the future, but as of right now, it's just tuna cans and clamps from Home Depot. Uh, so yes, you're able to get the perfect setup. Basically part of computing is that you want things to be at a 90 degree angle so that you don't get fatigued. And then this is really what my secret is here. So essentially somehow OneNote ended up being the best way to organize your ideas because it's kind of like a giant whiteboard. And then OneNote is normally like, eh, whatever, but it's amazing when you have this. So you get the good old surface pen here. Uh, what we're able to do is go and just like real time, be able to go through my ideas. And I found that I'm a very visual thinker and a lot of people are, you know, throughout evolution, everybody, you know, we we've gone visually throughout the world. We remember where the cave was, where the berries were, which berries not to eat. All right, and so essentially I'm able to kind of just brainstorm out and then in real time just, you know, draw on this. So I guess I'm a, a rainbow space today, Brock. Uh, but you get all these different types, but you know, here, what's cool, this thing's called the surface dial. And what's neat about this is you can customize it however you want, but let's say you're going, you're brainstorming out an idea or you're not exactly sure. This is really cool. You can go back in time with every note and see where you are at and thinking. So like, let's say you wanna like just draw out your idea and go back, you could just like literally, okay, now explain it and go like this, twist through exactly what you did. It's much more engaging and you can then like play now. Oh yeah, this is the professional microphone, sure. This is what they use on Joe Rogan, uh, H3H3. It's what Michael Jackson used to sing Thriller. And then we've got the arm here, so that essentially wherever you are, you can have a nice, studio quality voice. Well, look at this. So this thing goes up and down and it's like super sturdy and that's what's really nice. So let's say you want to go and just draw and zoom in. You can just draw whatever you want. So I guess we've got a heart. I'm feeling loving today. If we take a look back from over here, what we have then is we have the magical elves that are monitoring me. So essentially making sure my audio levels are good. Tobias will be over here sitting there. And then this is like our visual monitor. So we essentially have the full screen of my face here. And what this will do is allow us to, let's say, instead of trying either always being a small part in the corner, like let's say I wanna just start talking to the camera and not have to like change and do all this stuff. We could just, we just record two screens up here and then we're able to get what I'm drawing and doing and then able to go back and zoom in on myself there. So that's what's really key to this. And this software here is called OBS. And this is a free software and it's the best thing because you're able to have all these different scenes and set up and customize everything you want for the great price of free. Probably the coolest software project that I've ever seen that's free other than Linux. And then this wonderful thing is called a Stream Deck. Now this is the magic behind all of it because it allows you to switch between all of your different scenes. So if we were to go into Google Chrome there, I would be able to have that and then it's now formatted for that. If I just wanna go full face myself, I could click that. If I want to go here on OneNote, 
then now it changes the display like that. Or if I want to start recording, boom, I'm just starting to record the videos. You could have an unlimited amount of customizable keys here. So you could put all your shortcuts instead of having to remember everything and they could be multi-step. This thing is endless and I'm going to be sharing in the future how we're essentially going to be using this and I'll be distributing this to people on my team so that everyone can be on the same page. Over here, what we have to get the professional audio quality, I have a combination of a Zoom H6 mic. This is called a cloud lifter. Uh, it's a CL1. And essentially what this will do then is it allows us to take the professional quality microphone there and then this will amplify that so that you get a uh, you get an amplification of the audio. The big thing is you either have to buy a giant interface or you're gonna be plugged into the wall and that's going to kind of dampen your audio quality. You have to be very, or it's not gonna dampen, but you have to be very careful how that's set up because it is, electricity is energy and you'll get a humming if things are set up incorrectly. So I have everything actually running on this Zoom H6. It allows me to put in multiple different audio inputs and then this is going to give me a battery powered. And so you're going on DC, direct current. Now there's no alternating current because essentially what you're doing is it's going constantly back and forth in between the electricity plant and you. And then now that creates a zzz, where DC is just, it's a constant current, direct current versus alternating. So you don't get that humming noise. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, pretty much our setup. You wanna get the right posture. Just be able to put your ideas into it, be able to like have the freedom to switch between your face and your what you're drawing, and then the ability to go back in time and have unlimited creativity is essentially what I like. And then I set up all sorts of hotkeys so that I'm able to just do exactly what I want in less than a second or just the click of a button. All right, so in summary, we've gotten it all down. And if you guys have any suggestions or things that I didn't mention or uh, different ideas of things that could be added or replaced in the setup, let us know. I'm definitely down for that. And then if you guys are interested, we will be making a video on how I actually make my courses and how the best platform that's out there. And you know, basically an analysis of, okay, how are you going to be, you know, kind of organizing and publishing the information that you're creating and the best practices for that. Uh, so yeah. Let me know what's up and make sure to subscribe to see how this setup evolves over time because I'm always evolving. I hope that you are and so is my setup and I'll keep you guys up to date because I'm passionate about technology and processes and systems and essentially every way to make life better, yeah, whether that's through health, whether that's through business and whether that's through a really cool tech setup and that's how I procrastinate because you know, I'm like, oh, it makes my life more productive. But uh, you know, it's fun and it does make it more productive. So I hope that you guys subscribe, watch how this evolves and that you guys evolve. So thanks.